DJI has taken over the drone market and there is no doubt. From mini drones to industrial drones, they have provided the best and won our trust. However, Autil has also been on the drone market for quite some time now and tried to compete with DJI but delivering almost similar drones with performance and features. Anyway, the DJI M30T and Autil Evo 2 Dual 640T are the best industrial drones right now. They are pretty popular for public safety and commercial use. And with the thermal sensor, you can make your rescue mission easier. Today in our video, we're going to see how well they compare in terms of performance, durability and most importantly, the thermal sensor. So, without further ado, let's get started. The DJI M30T drone looks incredible. Even though it has a bit bigger structural design, the drone is easily foldable and users can carry it anywhere they want. This drone has a unique propeller design as well. Front propellers are faced upward and back ones are facing downward. On the other side, Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T is much smaller compared to DJI M30T. This drone also comes with multiple accessories that can be installed at the top of its head. Judging by the looks, it doesn't have much difference from the other drones. Although both of them are very powerful drones, DJI M30T seems to keep the feet one step ahead because of its ability to survive in tough weather temperatures such as minus 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. Now let's talk about each drone's camera and performance. Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T has a 640 into 512 radiometric thermal sensor which comes with a 13mm lens. This lens can identify the subjects from up to 100 meters away using the 8x zooming capability. It also has three types of photo shooting modes like single shooting, continuous shooting and time lapse shooting. The maximum temperature range in the high gain mode for this sensor is minus 20 degree to plus 150 degrees Celsius. And for the low gain mode, it supports 0 degrees to plus 550 degrees. As a result, high temperature areas can be easily identified using its thermal image demonstration. Besides, it has a 48 megapixel camera that can capture 8K video and has 4 times zooming ability without degrading the quality of the footage. On the other hand, the DJI M30T uses the same 640 into 512 thermal sensor as the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T. In high gain mode, this thermal sensor can measure minus 20 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius and in low gain mode, it can measure 0 degrees to 500 degrees Celsius. Also, the drone has a 48 megapixel camera with 16 times optical zoom which allows users to capture 8K resolution photos and 4K 30fps videos. But what makes the M30T different is that it comes with one extra 12 megapixel wide camera which is capable of capturing 4K videos at 30fps. Not only that, it also has a laser rangefinder that can detect subjects from up to 1200 meters away. And lastly, the density of pixels of both thermal sensors are the same which is 12 micrometers. So in terms of the quality of the thermal camera, both drones have equally powerful ones. But when it comes to performance, DJI is still one step ahead of Autel Evo 2. As for the features, both drones are unique in their own way. DJI M30T has six ways of sensing and positioning which makes sure the drone is safe in complex areas. This drone also comes with DJI Dock that can fully charge the drone within 25 minutes. On top of that, its hot swappable batteries will keep the drone running for up to 41 minutes of maximum flight time. Without any interference, the max signal transmission for M30T is 15 km and with interference, it can cover at least 3 to 5 km at max. Evo 2 Dual 640 on the other side can track subjects and avoid obstacles at the same time using its 360 obstacle avoidance and dynamic track 2.0 feature. With a maximum flight time of 38 minutes, you can get your job done without any worry. And max signal transmission for this drone is 9.5 km. About the price, the DJI M30T costs $14,000 and the Evo Dual 640T bundle costs $7,000. Here, the M30T costs double compared to the Evo Dual 640T. Now the question is, is the M30T really worth it for spending double? We would say yes, because if you prefer the most advanced functionalities with more reliable performance, nothing can beat the supremacy of DJI. Overall, in terms of camera quality, both drones gets the point. But the DJI M30T will give you more reliable performance including battery capacity, 
transmission range and obstacle avoidance. However, as you can see both drones are almost similar and DJI M30T costs double compared to Auto Levo 2 Dual 640T. So, are you willing to spend double and rely on DJI or just want to go for Evo Dual 640T? We would love to hear from you. Please let us know in the comment section below and as always, thanks for watching our video. Like and share with your friends if you find this video to be helpful and subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.